Hi everybody! So I hope you had some great Christmas holidays, um, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate over the holiday break. I hope you had a great one, as well as a Happy New Year to all of you! Yes, it is finally 2014, and with 2014 means new wig reviews! Now I do realize that lately I have not been uploading a lot, and I apologize deeply to all of you. I'm so sorry, but this past month I have been doing exams for college, so things get really insane, and I just don't have the time to upload videos. So hopefully in the next month or two I will be uploading a lot more videos than what I have been. A lot of reviews coming your way, so watch out for those. Alright, so today I'll be reviewing a wig from Gothic Lolita Wigs again. Now this wig was bought by my mom for Christmas for me, so unfortunately I don't have any shipping info of how long it took to get here and stuff like that, and how much the shipping cost. So it's really just going to be information on the wig that I'll be giving you today. The wig I ended up getting was the long blended baby doll wig. Uh, in the color creme de la creme. Now just a quick note about Gothic Lolita wigs. About this time, uh, beginning of January, end of December, I noticed on their website that they removed mostly, if not all, of the blended baby dolls. The ones with the uh, detachable pigtails. So I don't know if they're thinking of just completely getting rid of them, or if they will be re-releasing them. But in terms of that, say they do re-release them, this review will be perfect for those, as well as some of the other reviews I have done for a baby doll wig. But regardless, even if they don't release the uh, baby dolls again, this video will just give you an idea of the quality that goes into Gothic Lolita Wigs' wigs in general. So I do know this wig was around the $60 range, now that may seem like quite a bit, but with Gothic Lolita wigs you are paying for the quality of their wigs, which is superb, and you're paying for the length of the wig. Now this wig should be coming down to around your mid-back area, so it is quite long and that's why it's a little bit extra in price. So now I'm going to be opening up this wig. So I have the bag right here. As you can see, it's all packaged neatly inside. Now I like to keep the bags for uh, storing the wigs, which is always perfect. Let's take a look. Alright, so first thing I notice a difference, now it's not a big issue, any difference really, is that the netting on the wig is white this time instead of black, which they usually do uh, for their wigs. Um, Regardless though, the netting on the wig is always perfect to prevent some frizzing when you're storing your wigs, so make sure to keep that. The first thing I have to note about this wig is that the color is beautiful. Now this mix is called creme de la creme, so it's kind of a mix of a blonde and almost caramel brown color. So you kind of get that mix in there, it may be a little difficult to see. Now compared to the picture that they used to have on their website, the color matches perfectly to the picture color, so there's no big difference in that. Another note about the length of the wig, as you can see this wig is already quite long, and once I put it on you can see how far it actually does come down. Now just taking a look, you can see that you can't see the wig netting through the wig, and the wig netting inside kind of matches the color of the wig as well. Now feeling this wig, I can immediately tell that the fibers are amazing. The wig is so soft, so natural. It, it really doesn't look like a fake wig. Alright, so that was the base wig. So this wig does come with two detachable ponytails, so I'm going to show you those next. Now the ponytails themselves are also quite long as well, so you'll see that in a second. Alright, so this is one ponytail. As you can see, the curls aren't as predominant on them, but the actual ponytail itself is longer than um, some of my other wigs that I've gotten, so it matches the length of the wig, and the color is just as perfect as well. 
Now, in terms of difference in curls, I'd have to say it's the same amount of volume for the curls compared to the actual base wig, so it'll be a perfect match. And real quick, the other portion of the wig, the other ponytail, again, same thing. Uh, curls are a little more... I, uh, the curls on this one seem to be a little more in volume, uh, but I can always fix that by running my fingers throwing it and kind of combing it out a bit, so it's not a big deal. So this wig also does come with a wig cap so that you can put it on before you put your wig on. I have it on right now so I can wear this wig. Uh, so that's also some more information for you guys. Now at this moment I'm going to put on this wig so you guys can see what it looks like on a person and I'll be back in one second. And now I have this lovely wig on my head. Now first thing that I notice putting it on is it's so comfortable on my head. Um, it's not too big, it's not too small, it just fits perfectly. As well as the bangs here, you can see they are quite long. They come down to about my nose. So they do leave you an opportunity so that you can cut the bangs however you feel like, um, or you could just leave them the way they come. Uh, now if you can get a look, now it might be a little bit difficult, but this wig, as I said before, does come to about mid-back, maybe a little lower, depending on how short your torso is, but it is quite long as you can see. And the curls there, they're all nice and uh, wavy. Now I'm going to put on the two pigtails to see what those look like as well. Now putting on this one pigtail, obviously it feels a little heavy on the one side. Now you can always wear it with just one pigtail, but I do wear mine with both. Uh, once I put the second one on, it will equal out the weight. And there's the other pigtail. Now what I love about this wig is that I feel like there's so much volume to the curls. It's not just like loose curls. There's actually some bit of like bouncy curls as you can see. <laughs> now if I bring the whole wig forward, just adds to the amount of volume to the wig and you can see how long it comes down to. Overall, I love this wig. The quality is fantastic. Like always from Gothic Lolita wigs, the color is actually quite natural, so I would actually wear this out in public and it wouldn't look too bad. Alright, so that's the end of this wig review. Now I will have some extra pictures at the end of the video just to show you some more up-close shots of the wig itself and it being worn. Make sure to check out some of my other wig reviews from Gothic Lolita Wigs or my cosplay wig reviews. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!